Our journey began in 1851. Prince Albert used the profits from the Great Exhibition held in Hyde Park that year to create a cultural and education quarter in South Kensington. It included world-class museums and venues and the Imperial Institute. The vision was completed in 1907 when three 19th century institutions of engineering, science and mining were merged to create Imperial College on the site of the Institute. The medical schools began to merge with Imperial in the 1980s to form our School of Medicine, and today a business school completes Imperial's academic mix. Our first century was packed with innovation, with discoveries like penicillin, holography, radar and fibre optics. Imperial people even helped keep the Leaning Tower of Pisa standing. Today we have one of the largest university estates in the UK, spread across eight campuses, and you're joining a community of 13,000 students from 123 countries. Hi, I'm Sharmini. Hi, I'm Sahil. And I'm Jonathan, and like you, we're students here at Imperial. When I started at college last year, I knew I was joining one of the world's best universities, but I didn't really appreciate just what goes into making it so special. Did you know that Imperial physicists are involved in the biggest experiment in the world today, trying to recreate the first moments of our universe at CERN in Switzerland? College researchers are working on the world's smallest materials, New nanosolar cells developed here convert solar energy into electricity more than twice as efficiently as existing technology. I never realised Imperial had such a global impact. The same professors that teach undergraduate medicine are changing the lives of millions in Africa afflicted by tropical diseases. We've got the only rooftop plant research facility in London, looking at extracting biofuels more efficiently from plants like willows. Did you know that alongside surgical robots like this one called the Da Vinci, used by Imperial engineers and medics, surgeries in the future could be scarless? They're developing operations that will take place through the belly button. You may have noticed during the recent swine flu epidemic that Imperial is in the press all the time. That's because our academics don't just do teaching and researching. They also help advise the government on policy issues and they work with the media to help the public understand science. We do some fairly surprising things too, like creating an invisibility cloaking device that sounds more Harry Potter than reality. And what's really cool is that the people behind all of this will be teaching you throughout your time here. And often, you will get to take part in research projects. Imperial Racing Green is an undergraduate teaching project in the Faculty of Engineering, building hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to compete in races across the globe. So you won't spend all your time in the classroom. You might find yourself in labs, practicals, workshops, on the ward, or even out in the field. And you'll have lots of opportunities for group work. There's a big network of care to help you at every stage of your time here, both academically and personally. And college is always asking for feedback about how things are going for you, so make sure your views are heard. But of course, being at uni isn't only about working hard. There are loads of opportunities for you to let your hair down. For example, we have some of the best sport facilities in London, and there are loads of chances for you to take part in over 300 clubs and societies. Also, some of the most amazing student events, like the Summer Ball. Imperial is what you make of it. My advice? Take every opportunity and get involved. Don't be afraid to ask for help and have the time of your life. <laughs>